Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm fine. And you? Awesome. I'm tired. I'm at tired. What's I'm at the time, time at Heroes. Uh, huh? well, it's 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 not early, super early, but I'm I'm up in Toronto for the festival, and oh, okay. I just like it's racing back and forth to do everything. And, and I know, yeah, it's festivals always. Yeah. yeah, and I was up I was up late watching your film, so oh, okay. Okay. so it's your fault. No, it's all good. Uh, first of all, congratulations on on the film. Uh, I had I had heard really good, you know, buzz coming in. Like everyone who's seen it seemed really excited by it. And then I feel like when you first watch it, it's a little surprising just because people describe it in one way and then you realize it's presented in a very, very unique way. I'm just curious, like when you first knew that this was going to be something you were going to do, or when you first encountered the idea, how, how much were you surprised by the concept? Um, I was surprised by, about how much dialogue is in there because, mm -hmm. you know, dialogue on movies isn't always the, the very best thing mm. because we want to see pictures and yeah. uh, that's more exciting. So I was, but I was happy about the dialogues because I think they're, they are funny and, uh, and have wit. So um, no, I love this mixture of, of comedy and fun with, with this more melancholic part and the, um, all these thoughts coming up in the end, the questions. I think you could you could um, already sense that in the script, so I was I was thrilled. Awesome, yeah. No, it it does seem like a thing that when you read it, you would very clearly know. Okay, I this is very specific, and I either know whether this is a fit or not. Mm -hmm. uh, well, of course, I didn't know whether you know how much sad, like sci-fi it would be in the yeah. end because we didn't really put much like future in it in the, yeah. in, the, in the pictures so that wasn't clear in the beginning but um yeah all the rest all the other um contents were already there oh yeah yeah I, mean, I can imagine how you'd be like well this could be very grounded or when we get there it could be like well dan doesn't look like a human even though it's mm -hmm. oh, okay so you're just gonna have to put your trust in okay i, I trust the story is going to work and i mm -hmm. you know they want me because of what i can bring to the project yeah, I mean, Maria told me from the beginning that she 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 liked my. I, I, she always put it like um, I was a very very human, like in compared to with with dance performance. Um, I think that worked out quite well. Him being a real, uh, like um, water repellent Robert somehow, yeah. but still. Uh, you were able to imagine him being a human too somehow um, that worked out quite well and then me so well carried up with emotions and um all this i think that worked out quite well I think I totally say. and and even you know in a in a weird way the fact that you know a lot of viewers when they watch the film are going to be a little like just taken aback maybe the wrong word but just like watching dan like speak german but mm -hmm. because it's done in a way that does sound like someone, you know, who learned German, you know, like, like not, a, not, I would be way worse, but the idea of like, okay, the language is being added to you, which kind of fits for the idea of the character that he can be, you know, they, they've designed him to sound that way. So, I mean, yeah. it, it's interesting. And I think it might, it probably also just makes your interactions interesting because you're, you know, he's doing a lot on his own, but then you have to interpret it in that way like it's not just two actors together you have to react him as if he's a you know a sci-fi character but also a human being i think it uh in this language thing um adds to this him being a stranger it makes uh, it made it easier for me um to you know look at him as as a stranger strange person with his accent and maybe it does that also for you watching him speak German it makes this like small distance um what language does and um yeah oh yeah and I mean it, it it's just I think it's also the it's the cleverness of the film that they even address that that he sounds a specific way you know because it is it is the kind of concept that so many things are designed because it's what you would want your character would want mm -hmm. but is mm -hmm. that like really how you you know human beings want things to be you know it, it asks a lot of interesting questions in a like surprisingly pleasant way you know because it could be a lot heavier 
or it could be a lot sillier. Like there's a lot of ways this could have gone. I think you guys found the right sort of through line of, you know, take it seriously, but, you know, especially your character, like be aware that this is a little ridiculous. And like, this thing is in my home. Like I don't, like the warming up is very gradual and I think it, it plays really well. And I think you guys just have a very specific chemistry that allows you to believe that it's happening in that way. I think you, there are so many movies exist, existing where this with this Robert part is like the the, um, the one you're frightened of or which yeah. is something bad or carrying something something vicious. Uh, um, so for me also it was uh, not easy to you know to to think it over and say okay no Tom is really really nice guy and a nice AI and um, it's because it's so we we connected so much with with the bad being bad or being um, dangerous. Um, but still, I can understand very much that she closes her door with a key in the beginning because all this is so it's just the yeah a stranger. And, um, I can understand that very much. But um, the more um, fantastic I think it is that she is able to to open up and on this journey through which this film does that she she's able to to open up to this experience totally <clears throat> yeah no the 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 idea of the other is usually ominous and especially like non-human you know whether it's it's robot or mutant or whatever it's usually in a big thing where like that's the the point of it and and this just takes a slightly different path where it you know you understand why she would be hesitant but a lot of it is centered on like, no, this is like the most harmless thing. Like it is, you know, it's, it, you, you, you want her to warm up and it's a credit to mm -hmm. your performance that like it goes in a believable way. It's not too quick. It's not too slow. Like you don't, mm -hmm. you almost don't notice the changes. Like, but mm -hmm. we notice the little things like, oh, he rearranged her home or uh, all these little things that are just like, that would be really lovely. But you understand why for, for your character, it's not, it's not there yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, of course, I mean, she's annoyed in the beginning because she's like mirrored by this by this humanoid, and she she thinks, um, okay, that's that's me, and that's what I want. I don't know if it's true. <laughs> I mean, I yeah. And then um, she she starts to enjoy him being uh, at her side and uh, and a really quick and lovely partner. Yeah. And yeah, it's nice. Oh yeah, no, we because we never want to hear like. You know what? The way you are, like that's, that's never the. No, story. of course not. No. No one ever. No one ever tells you. You know, I know exactly how you are, and you're delightful. It's always like you're a pain in the ass, but we like you anyway. So it's <laughs> that's you know, it is interesting that you're. You know, I think no matter what, if we were in this scenario, you would look a little askance. Like, oh, this thing was designed to be a perfect reflection of like my thoughts and feelings and 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 pleasures. And then the first time they do something, you're like, wait, I like that, and you know, right, you do. right. But you're also like, this is strange and not- It's hard to take. Oh yeah. yeah. But, but the fact that it ends up being more about like a connection, the fact that you can derive pleasure out of out of another, you know, human being for lack of a, a better word, you know, it does come across very naturally. So it, it hits both angles very well. So mm -hmm. I think it's I think it's also just the two of you being, being so well matched by the end. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, oh. yeah, we were lucky there, yeah. For sure. Like well, I, uh, I just want to wrap up by saying congratulations again. And just if you if you want, like, just to sort of end, like, what was the most fun part about it? Because it does seem like it could, you know, it's definitely a performance where you're doing a lot of the heavy lifting. But is there, you know, because he's getting to have a blast as like, just like play around with like very actory things. Did you have a moment where you were able to go like, I'm having as much fun as Dan? Uh... I, I actually enjoyed the scene where she's drunk, uh, mm -hmm. even even though she's really um, not that sympathetic there always. But um, of course, being an actress, I enjoyed trying to find out, OK, how mm -hmm. am I going to do this strange scene where I'm like tilling his nose? And um, that was fun. And we laughed a lot there, um, both of us. And um, yeah. Also, I enjoy very much the scenes out, outside, like just mm -hmm. walking through Berlin and these nice places. And um, uh, it was fun. I mean, 
I did most of the heavy things, but um, the whole filming was really fun and we, yeah. Awesome. Well, you should, you should be very proud and I, uh, I look forward to seeing more of the like reviews coming out of the festival now where everyone else is going to sort of see what you know we've gotten to see over the last few weeks so you should be very proud and congratulations again i, I appreciate you, so you doing much. okay and I'm i uh, in toronto then i'm i'm trying it's uh <laughs> it's it is fun but it's also you forget that like oh cool i can do five movies they like oh that means i have like hours of writing ahead and yeah, there's something right. less fun than writing the same thing about different movies you know if two movies are similar you're like suddenly like how many times did i say interesting Ugh. and it's just and then you know that you have to wake up in the morning and it just starts to be this is the like most first world problem but you know i'm a complainer it's not endless is it i mean it's gonna, no it's, it's a week over <laughs> exactly it's a it's a week right. of doing one specific thing so listen okay it could be a lot worse but uh yeah. congratulations again and thank you for doing yeah, it thank you thank you awesome. my pleasure <laughs>